Hello there and welcome back. Well, it's six o'clock again and it's a brand new one day special. So excited. It's Prima and you have been loving everything that Prima brings to us. So I know it's going to be a popular one day special. Details are on your screen already. Got lots to share with you during this hour. Some brand new products. And of course, got the fabulous Anthony with us. How are you doing, Anthony? I'm very good, thank you, Hayley. And how are you? I'm very well. You look so, like you've got all the goodies there ready to get crafting with. So, so many goodies in this um, show. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've been spoiled for choice, really have. I love it. Can't wait to see what you've got planned for us now. If it's okay with you, Anthony, I'm going to scoot along the counter, give people the, the details that they need, and then we're going to hand over to Anthony. But, of course, the one-day special, I need to tell you about that before we start. It's busy. I'm not surprised. When I saw this and I came into the studio, it's one of those ones that it's not like, oh, do I like it? It's like, I need this. I certainly do need it. It's a huge um, mould, as you can see there. We're looking at five inches by eight inches, and you've got all these amazing clocks featuring in here. Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't just come by itself, because it comes with, um, obviously, you're getting your medium alongside this, your sculpture medium, which we'll learn a little bit more about with Anthony. Um, I know nothing about it, so I can't tell you anything about it at the moment. I think it's only right that we do let Anthony tell us about that in a few moments, but getting a huge bottle of that, 250 mil, as you can see. But can can I show you just a few of the things that have been created with that amazing mould? Have a look at this. I know this is going to be a popular one, and Emily has just said to me, oh my goodness, I can't believe how busy we are. 10% um, of the stock has gone already. We are a minute and 34 seconds into the hour. I am feeling a little bit anxious. This was just a tin can. Just a tin can, but doesn't it look amazing with that verdigris kind of result on there? Again, you can see recycling going on here with a bottle. Um, again, a little bit of, um, I'm guessing it's kind of like a power textile idea with this one. It's just a glass bottle, but doesn't it look amazing with the detail on there? Here we've got a little bucket, a little um, a bucket here again decorated in such an amazing style and these molds really do help bring out the most isn't it absolutely beautiful love it can't wait to see these in action i love that little bit of gilding that's gone on top of there it's a popular one day special already um so we're going to get some on as quick as we possibly can but of course you are going to get your mold with your four different elements within there um at 25 pounds and 98 pence being your price we've got extended delivery with this one as well which is the 29th of may so just to make sure that we get all of that information at the offset so nine one three three seven one it is literally flying out please do not leave it too long if you're wanting to get hold of this obviously we're launching it's going to be busy but if you're thinking of getting hold of this this is the hour to do it because then you can sit back and relax and of course watch all the fabulous demonstrations as they evolve now more new molds did promise you we've got lots and lots of fabulous goodies well these ones are going to be popular ones i'm pretty sure as well got options both on the same item number but of course you can come back in and get both of them if you're wanting to your frames absolutely beautiful as you can see here um, a series of three frames there, different sizes. Again, you can use them independently, use them together, but it gives you the ability to make those over and over again. I love this one. They get so many elements in here. It's called your seashore treasures. I have to be careful how I say that one. Um, but you've got kind of like the, the clamshell influence with these. Obviously, you've got elements there like the starfish. Love these kind of little cornices that you've got with these. These can lend themselves so well to many of the molds that I'm sure you will have in your stash. Love this idea. I'm looking at these and I'm thinking home decor, but have a look at the little elements here being used on a project. It's just a little card. Love these, these little tiny elements. Beauty of these, you know when you've got those little elements, like just you worked on a project and you've got a little bit of the, uh, the, the um, kind of the clay or whatever it is that you're working with, you've got that left. Well, these are the kind of moulds that's useful to have because any of those little excess pieces, you turn it into something straight away, don't you? And you've got those obviously created. Both of the moulds, again, coming to you. I mean, look at that frame there. Absolutely beautiful gorgeous you can imagine this working i mean obviously you've got kind of your um, your mdf element there with the clock on that particular sorry it's this one we were looking at on this side sorry <laughs> i wasn't sure which one we were looking at so you've got an mdf clock on this one but of course that could be one of the clocks that you created with the one day special if you wanted to love the little butterflies in the cornices 17.99 for each one of these molds so yeah they're beautiful they're popular and they're going in lots of people's baskets alongside their one day specials 035674 now of course when you get your mold you're going to need some modeling material now 
what you're looking at here is half of what you're actually going to receive. Um, I'm not quite sure why we've only got a couple of pots, but you will actually get four. So you're going to get 400 grams of your modelling material. We'll be learning about this because, of course, Anthony will be using it as the hour progresses. I like the way that it's in small pots. Rather than it being a huge pot, then, of course, you can keep these to one side. Um, and then also, as you work your way through, if you're working on different colours, then you'll keep these as storage containers. And then, of course, you can kind of decant it and keep them in the little pots as they go. These all always fly out we can really struggle to keep these in stock um, and 10% of the stock has gone already so don't forget you are getting double the amount that we're showing you here 16.99 for four parts 287.302 something else that caught my eye when I came into the studio and you can understand why when you look at it this is beautiful this is your palette of metallic pastels and these are beautiful You've got kind of interference with these and you can see that especially with the, that kind of the first color tone that you're looking at there in the studio it's very kind of creamy tone but it's looking quite a golden yellow on your screen there again the purple hues you can see coming through these they're absolutely beautiful when you move them you will see how they will change let me just move that to paintbrush they will change because of that interference level that you've got with them lovely palette you've got obviously a mixing area in the lid of it and of course it closes up to keep everything pristine and safe and as you saw there is that little area for your um, your paintbrush to go in as well 12 colors featuring in there for just 18 pounds and 99 pence and again it's a popular item Item. lots of you taking advantage of those and I'm sure we'll see that in action with Anthony as well just can I sneak one more thing in just one just one thing before we go to see Anthony. Now, these are your fluid acrylic sets. Now, again, I'm, I'm familiar with acrylic paint. I'm not sure how this behaves um, with regards to um, the, the medium that we've got here, but we'll learn more about that with them, Anthony, as well. £35.99, 032049 is the item number. Got a project that's sat behind here, so I'm guessing that it has been used. How it comes together, I don't know. I'm going to be learning the same as you do during this hour, but it's an amazing result, as you can see there. Got a lovely array of colours. You've got your lighter white in there so of course any of those colors you're going to be able to lighten and you have got three colors which mimic your primary colors you've got a deep turquoise in there you've got a gorgeous pink and you've got your brown which of course is going to give that antique look to any of those colors that you decide to create 35 pounds and 99 pence 032049 now I've covered just a few of the items there's many more that i wanted to cover but they're all on the website so do have a little delve on there if you want to stock up on additional elements then you can do five star reviews there for that modeling page that is a popular one as well you've got your concentrates of your watercolors we haven't touched on these haven't had a chance to show you those stamps either but there are some beautiful pieces so please do have a little look at those before you check out your baskets with your one day specials love those flowers really pretty there is lots and lots of new stuff on there. Let's take advantage of it while we have the opportunity. I will keep you updated with regards to um, whether things are limited stock <coughs> and so on. But the key thing is, if you see something that you like the look of, pop it into your basket and check your basket out. And if you can become a Freedom member, please do, because you're going to be cranking up that post and packing in this hour. Um, promised you a demonstration with Anthony, so we're going to hand over to Anthony now. What can we look forward to, Anthony? Right, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the one-day special. So this is the, the mold now this is a fabulous mold so within this you're going to get four different like antique style clocks what i really love about them is you're, you've got two small ones sort of like a medium size and a really large one so what is important to me whenever i start to um, look at molds is what sort of size they are okay so let's just go for the largest one here so that's 11 and a half centimeters in height by it's about seven and a half wide and then you've got the one here which is like a mantelpiece clock and that is 13 centimeters wide and the height is about nine you've got the one here now when i first saw this one i thought they've got the numbers upside down it's actually a hanging clock okay ah. so the height of that one is seven and a half and the width there is five and the smallest one here and the height of that one is five and a half and it's about four and a half. Now the other part of the one day special is this. Now this is the, the sculpture medium. So you can be using this with your fabrics and papers and basically what it will do, you can then um, sculpt your fabric or indeed your paper. Okay, so it's going to give you, let me just grab what we're actually, so what we're actually going to be achieving a little bit later in the show. Is that what was show. used on the bottle? It is indeed. Oh, I see. So, wow. <laughs> Because it's, it's almost like when we pick um, something up, we have to almost guess what's being used there. But that is amazing because it's got the folds of the fabric there, absolutely yeah. to perfection. And it's solid. 
absolutely it is. solid. Yeah. Now, the only, the only difference about this particular product is it is only for indoor use, OK? Now, what we will be doing, probably not in this show, um, but we definitely in, in one of the five shows we, we'll be doing, we'll actually be showing you how to colour okay um, how to how to best get the the effect because when you actually look at the heart like that okay you would actually see you've got all the folds in there anyway but to emphasize it even more so you can just first of all paint it with one solid color as we've done here with red and then what i do i use that same base color so these are just um, acrylic paints and i add the smallest touch of black in there and then I just look and sort of see where the low points are and where the shadows are naturally and just emphasize them by painting and then what I then do is the same color red add a little bit of white and then we highlight the, just the top areas but I won't show you now I'll show you that a little bit later Ooh, so, you tease. so getting, getting back to, <laughs> to the, the one day special we're going to be using some of the clay now I've said before um, this clay is very, very different from anything I've ever used before. Reason being, um, I've always used, and I'm going to mention the other product because it is available um, on her chanda, and that is the Hearty Soft Clay. Okay, now the Hearty Soft Clay is brilliant, but if you're going to be using um, or making something that's possibly going to be handled quite a, a bit, then this is the one to go for because it basically sets like stone. So if I tap that one okay you can you can rub over that and it can be handled a lot and it's not going to damage the actual surface of of the cast okay so that's a really really good clay now the difference is that um it's going to come in in four pots you're going to get four pots all identical and they're all just white so you're going to get a tube of of that now uh, do you have to well you've put the lid back on there so it's similar indeed, sort of it's, housekeeping it's airtight. that's what i really love about this one because all of the pots yeah they're absolutely airtight so when not in use pop it back in there now with all clays you can color them this one is no exception to the rule now we do have a couple of mediums on the um the show and that's this one here which is the liquid acrylic this is such a concentrated color and believe me you need hardly any of it but there is another one which is the watercolor okay and this is uh, the rust so this is the liquid watercolor both of those can actually be used to color the clay okay so i'm just going to pop on some gloves because um this this is a little bit of a messy part actually coloring the clay okay well, you end up looking so, like you've been digging in the garden oh otherwise. it de definitely does yeah <laughs> and if, 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 I, if i have any oil on my fingers that's because i had to change or or, or re re put on the chain of my son's uh, bike just before oh, no. i came here <laughs> now <laughs> do you have to wear gloves with this or is it just you your know preference what? um this this will stain but it will it will come off eventually okay but it's just because i'm going to be using um my hands a little bit later to actually sculpt the fabric okay so, so it's, i don't want to it's got like kind of like a dirt. safety reason why you've got the gloves on there so you can handle it with your bare yeah, hands you can do yeah. okay Okay, so you can see how easy it is to, to colour the clay. Wow. Okay, so I'm just going to now take off these gloves. So that's one pair there. Okay, well, now I have already um, coloured some clay a little bit earlier. The reason being, when you actually um, add moisture to this, it obviously makes the clay slightly more sticky. So you will have to just let it um, dry a little bit, hence I've just mixed some up. Now, we're just going to use some corn flour and this is just to make it a little bit easier for the clay to actually come out because I've moistened it. A lot of the time, in actual fact, you don't need to put um, any sort of like release in there. Other things you can be using is lip balm, there's sunflower oil, things like that. Wow. And it just makes the clay come out of the mould um, really, really nice and easily. So could I'm just going to press that in. Could you actually use these in um, a food environment? Obviously keeping a separate one for you food. Can, you can do indeed, Hayley. Yep, these are all food-grade silicon. Um, they got to um, about... 260 degrees wow okay they're also freezer safe so therefore they're dishwasher safe as well but we say that you know if you're going to be using them for cake decorating then obviously get yourself a second set exclusively to be used just for that so you can see the clay does go in really really nice and easily i use a dresden tool and that's just to get into all the little fine points there like so now when i first used um, this particular mold and i, I you know, I, I do like to be honest about things. I'm, I'm like the, I, I, I like myself to the test dummy. Okay, so when I when I use things, I find all the, the tips and techniques that I love to pass on. One of them being because it's got 
this fine detail of the actual um, clock face. If you're pressing from this side, sometimes you can be squashing it, okay? So what I tend to do, I'm gonna grab myself, let me just get a piece of packaging. Okay, just a little bit of plastic, okay? And I'm gonna pop that over like so. Then I'm gonna press from this side, ah. and it's just pressing those numbers actually into the clock face, okay, from this side. That's a because, good tip. Because it is quite fine. I found, when I first used it, I wasn't picking up all of those numbers nicely okay so from the back side okay yeah then just twist that like so and then literally because this is um, a, a thicker clay than the hearty clay when you actually just go like that you can see oh wow that literally just does come out okay like oh, so oh wow okay and there you can see if i hold that up My to that goodness. camera there you can see you can see all of the little digits on there and even little markers for the the seconds going around you can see everything but like i say when i first did it i put it in that side pressed the clay and i wasn't happy with it so that's when i i got a little I bit frustrated that. like we all do you know yes. like oh damn thing but that's what i did just turned it over pressed it from that side and you're going to get a perfect impression every single time and i love it when you give us tips like that because it's it, like you say it does say that but of course the beauty is it's something that if it doesn't go the way that you want it you just roll it up uh, and uh, kind yeah. of rework it back into the mold absolutely now with this clay this is a little bit different okay because it is a completely different clay to what i'd used before the other thing is it reacts in a different way. So this is um, trial and error, and I've, this is now my third Prima show. So I've got used to actually using it. So what I actually do, I have some cardboard like this, okay? And what I do, I put them all to start with, just on a sheet of cardboard like that, and let it start to dry. But oh, then, okay. about an hour or two, I then flip it over so it's that way, okay? okay. Otherwise, what you'll find is it will start to curl. When it's dried for about one hour both sides, then I just put another sheet of cardboard on top there and just a little bit of weight, okay? And that will just help it um, not to warp, okay? okay. So that's another so little do, tip there. Do the pieces shrink as they dry? They do indeed, yeah. Um, let me just take this one. This is one we actually um, did earlier. So you can see that's how much they shrink. They actually okay. shrink quite a lot, okay? But so you don't lose any of that detail. You don't do lose any of the detail, no. So just bear that in mind. If you're actually making it to like put round maybe um, a tin or a vase or something like that, just make sure that you're aware that yes, it will shrink. And that's purely down to the, the moisture that you've got within the clay. It is indeed, it. yep. So because we're adding more moisture into it, obviously it's, it's going to take a little bit um, longer to dry than just the clay direct from the pot. So we've got that part of the one day special. And the next part we're going to do is this, and we're going to, we're going to achieve this. Oh, now, this wow. is the, the material, okay? And you can see it's got all those beautiful folds on. And yes, you know, that has completely set hard now. Okay, now, the way you actually do that, and again, this is a, a mistake that I made. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This, this little nozzle here, okay, it, it's got two points, two little ridges on there, okay? You can just about see them. Oh, yes, yeah. Don't cut the second one down, just cut the first one down because otherwise the lid won't stay on. Oh, okay. oh no. So let me just cut that one off like so. And now just pop the lid on there and you're good to go. Wonderful. Right, so we're going to need some fabric. Now, it can be any type of fabric that you have. I'm just using an old scrap here that I found. So we're just going to measure up. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So we can just mm -hmm. cut this down just mm -hmm. a little bit. Lovely. Okay. Just as you're doing that, Anthony, we've popped the details up on the bottom of your screen. Of course, you are going to get one bottle within your one day special. You're going to get the beige. But then if you do want to get hold of a clear, then the details are at the bottom of your screen. So if you're wanting to get hold of your sculpture um, medium, a clear at the bottom of your screen, £13.99. Also, as well, as Anthony was talking about the, the mould, if you wanted one to keep for food safe purposes, then the mould is available by itself as well. Um, and you'll find it on the website if you do want to pop that in as well okay so we've got the as you said you've got the the beige and you've also got the clear that you can go uh, for for an option now you're probably thinking well why do i need transparent um the reason being there's maybe if you've been away somewhere and like me you know you like to um 
by possibly a flag or something like that, which you can then make into a canvas. You'd actually want to keep that detail of the colours of the flag, so you can actually soak the flag in the transparent one, and then you can actually make um, like a, a canvas with that. Or maybe you've got some really nice material that you don't want to paint over, but you want to include in your canvas in, in this sort of a state. And again, that's the way to actually do it. So. In the one day special you're going to get the beige now all you need to do and i've chosen like a quite a pale uh, fabric here so you can see as you're being soaked in so just squeeze that in actual fact i think this has got a cap on the inside has it yes it has that was the other thing so <laughs> it, it has a got cap. a cap on the inside as well so it won't work until you take that out fabulous <laughs> okay so let's just go back over so Again, this is water-based, okay, so it's not going to um, eat into your hands or your skin. But again, because we're, we're on air here, it just makes it a little bit easier. So put a generous amount on, okay, okay, and then just fold it over and then just start to knead that in. Okay. Oh, I bet that's satisfying. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you, you might need to apply a couple of squares of that just open it up every so often and you can see i think you can just about see there oh, yeah, you can see the areas where it's not there's, quite there's areas where it hasn't gone so you want to just make sure that that's in there so just massage that actually into the material now if you want this is just quite a large piece of material if you're just going for a small piece of material you can actually paint directly onto um, the fabric so maybe you've um, just got a, a, a canvas and maybe you've just wrapped some material around there maybe some string or lace you can then paint directly onto that but if you're doing the the folding um, technique that we're after here then it recommends that you actually put it in a bowl and soak it but I find just to speed up that process just to put it into your hands and just to knead it in there can you add colour to, to that medium? To be honest with you, I wouldn't bother doing that until after it's actually dried. Okay. Okay, because um, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I don't know if you can, yeah. but at the end of the day, if you're going to be painting over it anyway, just wait until it's actually dried, because if you add certain paints, it may um, sort of like not work with the, 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 the chemistry point. actually in there. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. Just hold that up to the light. Okay, we're done. So then just place that onto your canvas or indeed you know um, you, you've actually got the bottle at your end there mm. and literally just pop that on there maybe you've got some other prima molds that you want to maybe decorate around the actual mold itself we're literally just going for this so literally however you leave that okay that is going to set Okay. That's now it's going to take um, possibly a day. You can use a heat tool, okay. Um, and but like I say, this is only for indoor use only. Okay, you can't put it outside afterwards. So just let that one um, dry. So we're just going to pop that over there, and then we're we're good to go on the next part of the the demonstration. Wonderful. Now I'm going to let you get ready for your next part, if that's okay, Anthony. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a recap. Um, we've been so busy for the one day special, and you can see it's a beautiful mould. As Anthony um, showed us there, don't forget, do add in your uh, modelling medium to work alongside this, because it is important that you add that in as well. Now the one day special, okay, brace yourselves, folks. 30% of the stock has gone. This is the whole day stock. I'm just looking at the clock there. It's not even 25 past. It's phenomenally busy. So many of you have been waiting for Prima to come back. And this is a beautiful mould. You've got your four different clock faces featuring in here. Series of different sizes, which I think is brilliant because whatever project you're working on, you have got a size of clock that's going to work with it. So it might be that you're taking something like the wine bottle that Anthony referenced there. And that it, it needs a larger piece really on there because one of the smaller pieces could well be lost. Well, you have got your larger piece. Equally so, if you're making something that's smaller and you don't want to overpower it with a clock face, then you will have the choices in there. Don't forget, you are getting that amazing medium that, um, that we've just seen um, being worked into that fabric, which we're going to go back to in a few moments. And that is where this fabric wrap has been created to go around the bottle there. Isn't it amazing? I need some of this myself. I definitely am going to be going for this one day special. Now, if you want to get hold of your one day special, you mean very good company, lots of you placing your orders for it. But what you're doing is you're adding other things into your baskets as well. So if you're going for that medium that you've got there, don't forget we have got the clear version available. 
if you wanted to get hold of it, £13.99. It's the same size bottle, but it's clear. And as you heard Anthony mention there, if you want to see the nature of the fabric, the fibres or the print of the fabric coming through, then the clear is a good one to go for. Um, so, yeah, if you fancy adding that into your basket, you can do. But for the um, one that you're getting with your, um, your natural tone in there, your neutral tone, alongside your mould, you're looking at £25.98. 913371 if you're wanting to get hold of that. We're busy as well for lots of other elements, including the other two new moulds that we're sharing with you. And these are phenomenal because, again, you've got so many different elements within these. Two separate um, moulds, as you can see. Um, they're both under the different options on the same item number as you've got on your screen there. So you've got your frames, your fabulous frames here where you've got all those oval elements there which were featuring on one of those canvases. Again, you've got your large size, you've got your medium size and your smaller. Just to let you know, if the frames are a preference of yours, 20% of the stock has gone. And the moulds, they're just so, so beautifully put together. I mean, they're thick moulds. They've got deep relief in there. So you are really going to get some amazing detail. And that is key with the Prima moulds. To get that detail, that's what they need to do with the manufacturer of them. This one, I love this one. The Seashore, sea, seashore, seashore Treasures. It's going to happen, wasn't it? She saw seashells on the seashore. It's like, that's how it goes somehow, isn't it? 20 percent of the stock of this one has gone. I love the way that you kind of got the little cornice pieces there as well. They're going to work beautifully on many of your projects. But then you have got the clamshells, the sea, um, little um, kind of sea urchins. You've also got things like your starfish there. Love the fleur de leaves that you've got within here. Really classic styles. And again, it's a popular mould. Again, 20% of the stock has gone. $17.99. You can choose. But of course, if you do want to come back in and get the second one, if you want them both, then you can do. There's not a problem with that. But of course, your medium. We saw Anthony working with this. It looks so easy to get the colour through it, didn't it? Now, half the stock has gone. You are actually going to get four pots of these, which is brilliant because rather than having one big pot with one storage pot, you're actually getting four little elements within there, little pots that you can actually decant your excess of material into and store it. So you might be adding colour to it and want to keep it separate. Um, just love the idea of having little pots for you to keep in there. So you're going to get four of these, $16.99 for all four, 400 grams in total, 28730. I loved how smooth it was and the result that Anthony got, a tiny amount of colour that he was putting in. Um, so yeah, if you want in those and I'll tell you those colours in just a few moments as well. Now, these metallic pastels, oh these are beautiful gorgeous colours. You are getting 12 colours within here. You're also getting um, obviously the paintbrush that sits neatly in the centre there and obviously you've got your, your lid which is going to keep everything safe and secure in there. Really nice a collection there of your pastel accents. I'm guessing that we'll see these in action highlighting certain areas, accenting and those um, and you've got those gorgeous metallic but iridescent looks to these as well. Some of your traditional kind of gold and silver and copper tones featuring in here but look at those beautiful now 10 percent of the stock has gone of this as well 18 pounds and 99 pence not mentioned extended delivery this time around but let me explain to you because of course prima being an overseas company can take a little a bit longer for the products to come through looking at the 29th of may so if you want in yours just bear that in mind now the color that anthony applied he did actually use some of these which is your liquid acrylic highly concentrated the tiniest amount is going to add color to your medium that we've just been looking at your modeling medium so um to use the brown to add that kind of biscuit tone to the piece that he's working with. You've kind of got your primaries. Let me just rearrange these just to show you. It is actually a deep turquoise, but I think that could pass for a blue. So you could get versions of, well, pretty much any colour by using those three together. You've got your white there, so if you want to add a little bit more of a pastel tone to it. And of course, your burnt sienna there is going to make it darker, deeper, maybe more antique. We will learn a little bit more about that fluid that we've got as well, I'm sure. £35.99. You can see how it has been used to add colour and detail to this notebook and again the one day special featuring there very significantly on the front as you can see beautiful 032049 um, if you want in these then pop them into your basket Anthony did mention that you could use these kind of concentrated watercolours that we've got here as well and again we've got two little bundles dependent on the way that you want him to work with them kind of got your primaries uh, featuring within this one with more of a, a pink tone than a red but again you can mix those and get some wonderful co um, combinations or just use a little bit but again um, because they're concentrated you're not going to need a lot of them which means they're not going to have a detrimental effect on your modeling material so a nice little set there the other set that you've got with your squash your peacock and your rust I'm looking at these thinking very much that 
kind of antique look to them, maybe adding that um, rusty patina um, with those, um, 15 99 And again, they're both on the same item number. You can come back in and get both of those if you so choose. 620371 if you're wanting to get hold of those. So uh, yeah, pop those goodies into your basket. Everything that we've got works so well together. And of course, something else that Prima do bring to us are beautiful stamps. And that's what we're moving on to with this next item. Um, a beautiful collection. And you can see here, be free and you and me. Two different collections. Love these. Absolutely beautiful. Just um, £9.98. pence. Lovely clear um, stamps, as you can see. So you're going to be able to see where you're laying these down. And they're just really pretty designs. Again, here you can see the card that's been created using that kind of aperture style, which has got the butterfly in the centre. But of course, you could add whatever you like to there. Maybe even one of those smaller clocks would fit in there from the one day special. Um, 826 or 106 if you fancy getting hold of these as a duo. Um, of course, lots, lots more to share with you. I'm going to speed along the counter as quick as I can so as we can get back to Anthony. And this is another lovely little set for you to go for. Gorgeous beautiful these ones are cling stamps and you've got the most beautiful flower and bow alongside these prima bring us such quality products and such a wide range so again with these if you do want to get hold of them the stamps are already um, cling mounted so you've got that cushion within there and of course you have got that deep relief now ask anthony about actually pressing into those um, molds as well maybe stamping into them um, so much you can do not with the mold sorry the muffling material so uh, yeah if you fancy getting hold of these that is a beautiful decoration gorgeous 12 pounds and 98 pence for two of them zero three nine nine five four if you fancy getting hold of those now of course we've got the kind of theme of um the the seashells featuring within one of those molds that we were looking at earlier with this one we are continuing it and you can see by the seashore on this occasion you've got your paintables which are beautiful papers in here you've got all sorts of elements featuring in here. Some gorgeous um, effects with those as well. You've kind of got a resist going on there. It's a bit tricky to show you, but the idea being is you've got kind of impressions. It's similar to the page that you've got there. In fact, I think it's pretty much, I. Um, uh, yeah, it's I, exactly the same, I think. Um, you can obviously pull these out. You've got your dotted line at the top there, but that impression is as a resist. So imagine doing one of those watercolour washes over the top of there and keeping that pristine colour underneath. This particular one is like your world map featuring in here. I'm guessing that we've got a version of there you go. That's exactly what you've got, but as a resist. And then similarly with these, you've got a kind of alternates right the way through there. Brilliant quality, I have to say, with those as well. I can't see what the GS7 is on there because I haven't got my specs on. But you'll be able to see, I am sure, with the details that you've got there. If not, I'll find out for you when we come back to them. You've got a stencil that's going to work alongside these as well. As you can see, they're very nautical theme there with the shells. And then again with the stamps, you've got the cling stamps there. Again, lots of elements. And you're getting your fabulous Prima flowers included with these as well. £23.96 being your price. And of course, the beauty is that with these flowers, if you want to add a little bit of colour of your own, then you can do. But don't they lend themselves well to those colours that we've been looking at within those watercolours and the concentration and um, concentrated bottles that we've got um if you want these 898 786 pop those into your basket i think we're going to leave it just about there and we're going to head back over and see what anthony is up to oh in fact we're going to squeeze one more in sorry i wasn't listening properly um this one oh there you go another of those paintable pads and again similar sort of idea i'm guessing where you have got kind of your your black print and of course you have got your resist that comes alongside it working your way through all of those so some really nice prints featuring within there you'll have loads of fun six by six with regards to those as well and then of course you've got your stencil and the stencil is lovely because you kind of got your inny and your outy with your stencil as you can see there which is nice so you could build up different colors with that design lovely little set of stamps again seven stamps featuring on that stamp plate so it's a nice little bundle again at 15 pounds and 97 pence nice like those pretty um 179766 if you want in to get hold of those now we're going to hand back over to anthony to see how his demonstrations progressing how are you getting on anthony right so we're going to be using the a4 um, collection um kit here which is basically 27 uh, sheets now 24 of them are double-sided really really good quality um I, it's almost um it's not really paper it's more of a card i'm going to say it's probably about two between 170 and 200 okay so it's it's, it's, it's a really really nice um quality card lots of um sort of like vintage style um papers within there like i say 
they are different on both sides so it's up to you which one you want to choose and then towards the back there you have some um, stickers you've got some alphabet some numbers there and then let's just have a look what else is in the back then you've got some larger um, stickers there as well so we're just going to use one of those okay and what I've actually done I have just stuck that into position on a piece of MDF now what I've also done I don't know if you can just about see that we've um, got a little bit of stencil work going on here we've actually used a 3d um, gloss journal that's a really really great medium because you can hardly see it on here, okay, we, we, we are going to highlight it with the liquid acrylic paint. But first of all, let me just quickly show you um, with a stencil that is on the show. Okay, so we're just going to take the lid off this one. This is a really nice medium. You don't need a lot of it. So literally, it goes on white, but it will actually dry transparent. Okay, so there we go. And just take that off whoops and he squashes it straight away pop that into um, some water I've got um, a tray by the side of me but with this it's going to take probably about an hour to dry you can use um, a heat tool um, to make it dry a little bit quicker but the other things that you can actually use a 3d gloss gel for is you can actually be using it to actually stick embellishments to um, canvases okay so it's going to be um, used for that now when it's in this state when it's wet you can also then put a little bit of glitter on there as well. So it's entirely Ooh. up to you how you actually use that. So you can do that as well. OK, so I have already put it on to um, one of the backing papers there. We're just going to use some of these liquid acrylics. Now, these are really, really fun. Um, I had to play with them and I, like I said, I'm a little bit like a test dummy. I just dragged them out, you know, squeezed a little bit on the mat, um, painted it and thought, wow, that's really dark. Then I thought to myself, well, that, that's not quite right. I'm doing something wrong here. And then, like most of us do, we look on YouTube. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realised what it was all about. So in the set, you're going to get um, five actual colours plus this one here, which is the liquid color fluid medium so that's just going to basically make it a little bit more transparent okay and make it um, sort of like go further okay but unlike normal acrylic paints these are actually they have got that translucent look to them okay so if you're thinking about buying these to make or just paint over a solid area these aren't the paints you're looking for okay okay so let me just show you and it amazes me because you were telling us before um, uh, the show that it's only Wednesday that you actually got hold of your product Indeed. And you, yeah. you've learned so much about them in that short space of time y YouTube is great <laughs> <laughs> so like I say these aren't going to be solid okay but where you, where you go over you can see you can actually still see underneath okay the writing okay so it's not going to be a total coverage okay now what you can do you can then start to have a play so i'm just highlighting okay just over this area just here okay so we can keep on going okay but then if you want to get really really creative get some water okay and i'm just going to we'll we'll go for the magenta okay as well so we're just going to blob a little bit of that on there now, that's lovely because sometimes acrylics um, can be quite thick and cover up what's underneath them. They can do it. Well, in actual fact, the actual, this, when you actually pour it out of the small bottles, it is really, really quite thick. But it's not until you then add um, either the, what we've got here, the liquid colour fluid medium, or you play with the water, that's when it starts to get really fun. So I'm going to spray directly onto this. This could be obviously um, a canvas, entirely up to you. And let's just pop some colour on there now you can see it almost is acting like watercolour okay oh it's yeah. just like spreading out like so okay now I'm definitely no good at watercolour I'll be honest with you N not not at all but with this you can start to um, have fun so let's and just is that where the stencil's been used as well I can see kind of the cross it is cross indeed lines. yes it's highlighting it okay. yes so let's add a little bit more water to this okay now we're going to add some of there we go and you can see it just like starts to spread out now when it's at this stage because there's water still there okay you can let's just clean the brush you can then just start to mix the two colors in okay so you get a nice 
sort of seamless look between the two. Okay, and you can see there. It's nice because you can see it travelling. You can see it travelling. It'll obviously only travel where the, the water actually is. Okay. Now, the great thing about this is if you want, if you're happy with what you've got there, then just get your heat gun and actually set it. Okay. Now, I'm guessing, is it a bit like other acrylics that once it's set, it's not going to move afterwards? Or no, you add absolutely. Water? Yeah, it is going to set like an acrylic, a normal acrylic paint. But unlike a normal acrylic paint, if you then put another colour over the top of it, it will completely hide the original colour. Okay. This is slightly different because, like I said, they are um, transparent. So when you put another colour over these, this original layer will actually set. So let me just take some of the water off there. So I've probably gone a little bit too heavy. So just go over that one. And you can see the, the 3D gloss gel there has given it a little bit of a resist. OK. So we're happy with that one. Let's just pop that down. So we're just going to go over with the yellow. Now, when you originally get this, you're going to think it's green. OK. You can oh see. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, I'm, sh I'm sure it said green on the um, yellow on the bottle, and I had to check twice. But once I'm there, I, I will just grab a piece of white card just to prove the point. There we go, it's yellow. It's just so, oh, yes. so concentrated. Okay. So, because of that concentration, could we add that to things like the gel mediums and different things that we've got in our stuff? Yes, you can. Oh. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, now we're going over. And as you can see, underneath there we had the magenta, so we're almost getting like an orange mm. playing there. So have, have a real good play. Obviously, these are going to work best, I'll be totally honest with you, on, on white, okay, yes. um, canvas board. And actually, the large canvas you've got with you, Hayley, which is the mm. one right next to you. Oh, this one here? The very first one. The background there with the, the pinks and the blues, that was actually done using um, these paints. Oh, right. OK. See, when you look at this, you're thinking, well, well there's purple in there. But of course, blue and, pur and pink coming together will make those purple we hues. Make the purple, yeah. So you can just keep, keep on playing with that until your heart's content. I'm just trying to bring out some of the colours that are sort of like in other parts there. So again, we're just going to go back over here and just literally just splash them. Don't worry too much about anything because you've got the water there. Everything is going to blend really, really nicely. And I love together. it because you can actually see where that um, three-dimensional gloss gel has been used through the stencil there because, of course, yeah. it's acting kind of like a resist, but at the same time, the, the paper's absorbing it, uh, um, enhancing the, the original paper that you use. Of course, paper pad that um, Anthony's used, we have got those on the website. As we have got the 3D gel, the details are on your screen for that. As you can see, £19.99. You're getting a huge bottle, 400 and 73 mil which is an interesting figure i'm guessing there's kind of a metric versus imperial um, with regards to that um, but some um, eight uh, five eight zero eight three um, six nine if you're wanting those the paper pad that anthony's working with just while he's drying off his piece of work there let me show you that as well it comes with some stamps um, so it's a lovely kind of vintage style um, and uh, you're getting your four by six cling stamps alongside with those 19 pounds and 98 pence is the price for that and as uh, anthony explained to you there you've got lots of kind of pages in there that are double sided but look at that i love that alphabet font that's a really quirky look to them isn't it it's lovely all on that gorgeous kind of emporium theme as you can see there so a nice starting point with those um, papers but then of course you can enhance them in so many different ways and it's a lovely alphabet set there something a little bit different about that isn't there and um, if you want to know some details there on your screen Okay, <clears throat> right, so we've, we've just added a little bit of colour there to the side. So we're just going to bring back in what was our piece of um, material there that's now, like I said, completely um, set. Oh, this so is coming together nicely. I have just, um, normally I'd use um, wet glue on the back of this, but I want to be able to, like, actually hold this up and it doesn't all slide down. But like always with this red liner tape, it's always a little bit of a, a faff to get the red liner actually off. <laughs> and I love the way the fabric's actually moulded to the board as well, so you've not had to yes. use any glue to keep that no, in place. No, I've actually used that as the glue itself. So let's just place that on, so let's just turn it around that way. Okay, so there we go. About there, I think we want it. Just press that one down. 
and you can see I'm pressing there and it's not squashing that fabric so that is definitely set right now because I've done a couple of um, Prima shows this is um, a gilding wax okay from a previous show I think it's the very first one so we're literally just going to go over top obviously this could be any gilding wax you have because it was the, the right colour and it's just bringing, bringing out some of those folds. Like I say, I will show you how to actually paint um, over the, um, the fabric on another show. Can just I so just ask as well, because we've got those fabulous pastels, there's a lovely kind of gold tone within there. Could you use those on the, the peaks that you've got? Um, these ones here? Yeah. Um, they're water-based. OK. OK. Um, yes, you possibly could. But if you're again, it's um, it's adding water to the it's, fabric it's again, yeah. It. And when I and I, I like I say, I'm a test dummy. I when I first used this material, I then tried to spray over the top of it, and yes. the spray actually had water content in there. Okay. And it made the fabric go all soft. So okay, that's fair I enough. I would possibly though. say, you know, yes, you could if you didn't use that much. So okay, no, yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. I love this that you, you kind of tested. Obviously, when we say he's tested the products, he, he only got them on Wednesday, so there's a limited <laughs> amount of time. Um, but of course, you will be experimenting with these as well. And as Anthony said, there's a whole host of YouTube footage that will help you along your journey too. So you can see I'm just brushing that on, and I just love the way that it picks up on the, the highlights there on, on those folds. And also, because this is a cotton fabric, it's got that slight weave that's actually in the fabric as well and it's even picking up on that so there we go and that's that's what's really that's what i really love about you know all premium products they all just work together so so nicely it looks amazing so that is the the fabric okay and we've highlighted that we're now just going to go and get um our clock our clock face like i say this is going to take um probably about 24 hours to dry but obviously it'll depend how hot or how cold it is in your house so just bear that in mind and then we're just going to do a little bit of um, a wash with this one. So we're just going to use, and this is the, the brown colour one on there. So again, just a little bit on there. And then we're just going to add a little bit of water, but you can add water. And you can see the true colour then actually comes through. Really intense. Okay, very, very intense indeed. Okay, so we're literally just going to wash over that okay so we just and this is by the way the same color that we actually colored this clay with okay so it all tones in really really nicely so just go over just to give you a bit of a time check Anthony we've got about seven minutes left yep that's good that's good okay so just go over that and then just let that soak in just a little bit and then you can just dab that Okay, so we, we're wanting that sort of like old sort of look to it, so... And it's nice because it's kind of gone into the recesses. It has, yeah. So that's the sort of effect we want. And again, we're just going to use a little bit of gilding wax. Possibly we could have gone for the, um, the gold, but we're going to go for the cop here. We're going to keep it fairly... Looks like it's ancient oh, piece, colour. not that you've just made it. <laughs> and that, that is... That is the, the, the great thing about um, adding, adding the colour. You can make it look brand new or really, really old just in a, a couple of strokes of a couple of different techniques using. Right, so that is our clock. OK, so we're just going to use some 3D glue gel just to set this in place. Now, in the back of the, the A4 collection book here, the Vintage Emporium, we've got the alphabet there. So we will have, here we go, I will always, so basically I've just got a ruler here, put the ruler onto um, a piece of the backing and then I just placed all the letters on top. Because of course you've got the stamps with these, haven't you, the alphabet stamps? You have indeed, yes, yeah. you could be using that, yep. So are these from the, the actual pages? Yes, yep, right. there's some oh. um, sticker pages towards the back. So let's just pop that in there time and for you okay and then we have got a little bit of um, garden string that I've plaited together but I think we'll just leave it at that so we need 
probably quite a bit of glue because obviously you've got the folds there so just bear that in mind when you're applying the glue okay we're just going to turn that round like so get a little bit of a wiggle maybe lift that one up just a tad and there we go so i will always make time for you and like i say we've got a little bit of string there they will add after the show that when, is it's, when it's dried <laughs> lovely and you're going to be back with us at eight o'clock so Indeed. we'll be able to see it with the string attached anthony thank you so much Pleasure. Learned so much through that demonstration um, it's the first time i've ever done a prima show with anthony and uh, you can see his passion and his love for the product and that's down to the sheer quality that you've got with the medium so we will see anthony again in a few moments but i need to tell you about what we've been bringing to you because of course it's been the six o'clock hour and we've launched a brand new one day special and what you've got is a huge five by eight inch mold and within here you've got your four different styles of clock faces within here so of course you've got your small piece um, there you've got your medium size and you've got your larger pieces of course the one at the bottom there is the one that Anthony's just been using and the amount of relief that you've got within here is tremendous it means that all that fine detail that you're seeing from the clock faces really do come out and you can see here just using something as simple as a tin can um, you can see here this could have had baked beans in it or anything you can see they're absolutely amazing recycling but giving a new lease of life to something that you would be able to create and of course the fabulous medium that you're getting alongside this is brilliant because it will allow you to drape fabrics basically if you've just joined us the medium that you're getting within here you're getting a huge bottle of it and it's a beige tone the particular one you're getting with your one day special just um, basically saturate um, saturate any fabric that you've got it could be cotton it could be whatever fabric you've got lying around and it could also have a print on there if you wanted because of course once it's dry once it's created those folds and set in place you can go back in with paint. Anthony is going to show us that during some of the one day special shows that we've got. Um, of course you can colour your clay before you get started as well. We'll chat about that in a few moments. Or you could just give them a totally different look. I mean the pastel tone it's such a different look to that kind of antique look that we've been um, working with. Lots of the little elements on the teacups there. We have got the mould for those as well, which I'll tell you about in a few moments. And of course, we'll team up with other things that you've got for your Prima collection. Just to let you know, a third of the stock has gone. And your one day special is made up of the mould that I've just spoken to you about. And then the sculpture medium there. And a little really does go a long way. Um, so if you wanted to get hold of your neutral tone, it is going to add a little bit of colour to the projects that you're working with. We have got a clear of available for you as well. You can pop it at the bottom of the screen because if you're going for the one day special I would suggest you do pop this um, clear bottom of your screen alongside it because the clear will mean that you can actually see the pattern of the fabric coming through and if it's something that's important to you it's a perfect way for you to show off that fabric. 913371 we're very very busy for the one day special if you're wanting yours do pop it into your basket. 29th of May is the dispatch date for these just to let you know in case you have just joined us. A couple more moulds for you. Um, again, these are lovely, lovely designs. We saw some of those little accents a few moments ago featuring from this particular mould here. Um, and it is a themed where you've got things, elements from the seashore with these. Um, lovely deep relief with these. The fleur de lis, the little cornices that you've got here, absolutely amazing. And lots of detail again with those. Again, alongside it, you have got the frame. They don't come as a pair. They're both on the same item number as options. But I think many of you will be coming back in for these. So again, Again, lots of detail and again you don't have to fill it in its entirety if you just want one of those little elements there maybe just one of the little arches then you could do that quite easy you can see the gorgeous roses coming through there as well um, 035674 they are food safe so if you do want to go down the food safe route do make sure that you are keeping one and you're only keeping it for your food safe and project so I'm thinking particularly that one with the little elements now of course throughout the demonstrations we will see um, Anthony working with the modeling material you're actually you're going to get four of these 60 percent of the stock has gone 16 pounds and 99 pence you'll get four tubs of these each with 100 grams in there which is brilliant because it means that you can add, you get four um, little pots so if you're adding color then of course you can keep one color in particular pot and so different elements as well so 287302 we are getting to the end of the show now, don't forget this is the launch hour and anthony has been demonstrating throughout the hour we're going to see anthony again at eight o'clock so uh, we're just going to say a quick goodbye to Anthony because we're literally running out of time so Anthony thank you so much for your inspiration Pleasure. and demonstration Pleasure. Um, what can we expect coming up at eight o'clock um, I do you know what? I think we'll actually show people how to actually do some painting and Ooh. we're gonna go for a really large piece probably the biggest project I've ever done oh 
Oh, wow. Okay. We start it. Don't know if we finish it. <laughs> That's fair enough. No commitment there. No, no pressure. So make sure you tune back in at 8 o'clock or watch our nighttime repeats because, of course, that is what happens with the 8 o'clock show. Um, so there's loads and loads of other things worth um, checking out. They're all on the website. So, of course, the fabulous uh, paints that we've been talking about, the, the gorgeous pastel tones, all the fabulous papers, the stamps. You will find everything on the website. And that is the key thing. If you want to get hold of anything, now is the time to do it, especially if you are thinking about that one day special. Don't forget to add in that clear medium as well because you will find it so, so useful. And do make sure that you come back and join myself and Anthony at 8 o'clock because we've got lots more planned. And I know you won't want to miss out on any of those. Um, we've got lots coming up this evening. I'm going to be back with you in a few moments with Tando Creative. So I hope you can join me for that one. Um, and uh, that's going to be a busy hour as well. So if you've got anything in your basket, now is a good time to check those baskets out. Or if you're planning on giving us a call to place your order on the phone lines, you better do it now. And I'll see you in a few minutes.